update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials finish up 162, NASDAQ up 161, S&P's up 39, gold, gold contract up 1850 at 1736. You get silver up 10 cents, $18.77 an ounce, light sweet crude down 360, $96.26 a barrel, notes and bonds. A 10-year note up a full point, plus five ticks at 118.30, the 30-year up one point plus 27 ticks at 140.11 in King Dollar. King Dollar is down at 341 ticks at 106.736. The Euro is 102. The Yen is at 137. And the British Pound is at 119 to 1 US dollar. We get over and we take a look at the market, folks. Bottom line is that you're coming into Friday. You've had a six day run in the marketplace. And I suspect bottom line is that this thing wants to run up to this 314. 4, 417, rather, inside the SPY. Right now, you're at 398. The volume's lightening up, and the volume's going to be lighter tomorrow, too. You're coming into a Friday, there's no doubt about that. NDX continues to run the market higher and bring everything else higher. With the three Qs out here, bottom line, you're up $4.35, and you're really right next to where it wants to run. You know, we're talking about uh, 314. 314 is your next swing point. Um, there's no reason it can't hit it, man. And on this, what does happen is that ice is laying out at 317. So between 314 and 317, that's where you can basically kind of look at that market and see how it's shaking out. What I brought up earlier in the show, and this is important to really wrap your head around, is that we're at the right time of the month also, folks, to make a real run. Because what ends up happening, we're coming into the last week of the month and window dressing, okay? And the most deviant thing the market could do you know what my saying is, the market's job is to take the most amount of money away from the most amount of people in the least amount of time, and guess what? Running higher is what it will do. So gold, gold, gold uh, rejected 19, uh, 16.96 today, closed at 17.35, bottom line. We'll see if we get any follow through, and that's gonna be all about the good old US dollar. The dollar today, bottom line, just back down a bit, you know, um, you know, but it didn't break. What the dollar hasn't done, okay? And not for a break in the doll, you need it below 106,792. That's where it had strength. That's what it's come down to the last three days, and that's where it stopped. And it tracks, like, very quick. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. He kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show, folks. Meow! We'll get him, folks. Sharpening your...